Hey YouTubers, this is Tequila. You are seeing my hands right now because I'm about to um, show you how I break my bath bombs in half. But first let me show you which ones you do not want to break in half. Okay, for instance, this one. It has stuff inside of it, so if you break this in half, this is the um, this is the abominable snowman, and he has stuff inside. So if you were to break him in half, all the insides would come out, and it would just kind of be a pointless bath bomb. Um, here's the I think this is golden slender slummers or something. I'll break this in half. There's stuff inside of it, and it's just going to be kind of one of those bath bombs that are broken. So, you know, not so great. This one. I wouldn't break in half either because I don't think it would break evenly. This design, I wouldn't break it in half. They have two bombs that are this design. The other one smells like vanilla. Um, and it, I think it would just break into a bunch of pieces. So I did try to bust the vanilla one and it just crumbled all over the place. Now good ones. To, oh, and this one also. This is the dragon egg. Because the best ones to break open are these circle ones. But the dragon egg, which is a circle one, it also, it don't shake, but it has three layers of um, bath bombs in it so when you break that in half it just kind of crumbles into a bunch of powdery stuff so dragon's egg I don't recommend any bath bombs that have multiple layers that change colors I don't recommend you break it in half because they would just bust all its pieces but um, the solid ones like this these are good so I am going to open up some and show y'all how I break them in half and hopefully it'll turn out okay okay I'm gonna get a new bag for it and I just get my bag at the dollar store I pay three dollars for 150 no 180 bags so. okay so here's the bath bomb this is honeybee and I'm gonna stick it right here and the reason I put it in the bag is that way I don't lose any of the deliciousness product so what you'll need is a flathead screwdriver and a hammer or if you're a productive lady if you got a if you don't have a hammer and you have a high heel shoe which is fine Okay, can you see it? Okay, so I'm going to find a place that looks good in the crease, and I think this is a good one right here, and I'm going to place it in there pretty good. And you need to hit it one good hard time for it to break in half evenly, and hopefully it will. Oop. There it is. Perfectly broken half, and the powder that's on the bottom is in the bag, so it's saved, and there's half of a bath bomb for your bath. So that one worked out good. Let me do another one. You see? I have those two. And I will wrap those individually. That's the way I roll. Okay. So now I'm going to um, break open another solid one. Okay. And this one inside it just has a piece of paper so it should be fine. I love the way it smells, and I think that's a good spot right there. This was actually their first bath bomb that was ever made at Lush. At least that's what I was told. So I'm going to put the screwdriver in there. Get it a good hit. Try not to hit my finger. Ooh, look, that only took one. Let me pull that out. And it's stuck together with the paper that's inside. And there it is. Two bath bombs. And that's really all you need for a regular size bath bomb. You know, that's all you really need for it. So it does save money because this bath bomb is like $6. So you get two baths out of it. And I always add a bubble bar to mine. Now I am going to show you with my dragon's egg why I would not break it in half if I were you. But for me it's fine because I actually, my older bath bombs, I'll crumble up into a powder anyway. Just kind of use it like a bath salt. So get a bag. This is a dragon egg, and this is a multiple layer bath bomb. And you doing this, and I want to show you why. So I'm going to stick that in there. I think that's a good spot. It feels like it. And this is why it won't break evenly, and because um, it has multiple layers, so it won't break evenly. And so, but with this, I will what I'll end up doing is finish crumbling it and make it into just like a bath salt and put it in the water. So that's why I don't recommend you doing that. And this will happen with this. It'll happen. Um, I've seen people bust open the Space Girl. I've not been um, lucky with it working out for me. So um, you could do it with a little Lush Pud. You can break that in half easily too. But uh, it won't work with this. It, these, it'll happen the same thing. So 
yeah, that is just how I do it. And I told Miss Gabby that I would have that video up for her. So I just wanted to show y'all. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, um, let me know. And as always, God bless.